Hello, Pre-K Joy. It's Miss Ashley. Spring is one of the seasons of the year. Do you remember when we talked about four seasons of the year? Now it's springtime where the grass is coming back out again and the flowers are growing and bugs and birds are coming outside again and it's very exciting. So this week I'm going to read a few different spring books from our class that I thought you guys would like and I have some ideas for you guys to do at home that have to do with spring. So this first book is easy. It's called, can you read this word? It, s, it, s, it, s, it's, it's, it's spring. And remember there's an exclamation mark and what do we say with an exclamation mark? It's like, hooray, or super exciting. It's spring, yay, okay? And I can tell that it's spring because look what's going on. Babies are born in spring and green leaves are coming out in spring. I run outside in thin pants and short sleeves. No thick heavy winter coat bundled around me. I skip and leap and feel light and free. Fresh air blows all over me. So this is a fun thing to do in springtime. He's going outside with his puppy. He is throwing a frisbee. And you can see that in spring, there's like a little bit of snow still on the ground where he lives. Where we live, there's not snow on the ground. But in springtime, there might be a little bit of snow on the ground and it's melting away. Creeks and streams are starting to flow. We hear the trickle of melting ice and snow. Then one day, pitter patter, splitter splatter, rain pours down. Creeks and streams rush and gush again. So all the water used to be frozen, like where you can ice skate on, and it was hard like ice. And now when the when it's springtime, it starts melting. It gets warmed up and it starts rushing down. And we get rain and big puddles. Oh, I dip my boot in a puddle to see how deep it is. Swish, swish, wash this. Curse, splash. It's spring. How many of you guys love to splash in puddles in spring? I love splashing in puddles in spring. I have rain boots and a raincoat and I love to splash. We find tiny pointy leaf buds on bushes and trees. I peel one open and see the tiny beginning of fresh new leaves. I find some flowers. They look soft and sleek. I rub one gently against my cheek. So cool, he found some flowers that are like soft and cozy on his cheek. The ground is growing soft and warm again. There's a clean, fresh smell in the air. We find tiny new green growing things everywhere. Animals that slept all winter are now waking up. Earthworms, frogs, turtles, snakes, beetles and ladybugs. Remember that word that we talked about in winter that means um, that animals sleep all winter long and they don't come outside to eat and they don't come outside to play with their friends. They go into their caves or under the ground and they sleep for a long, long, long time without waking up. Anybody remember that word? Say it at home if you remember it right now. It's called hibernating. Hibernating means the animals were asleep all winter. Now it's springtime and they're coming out. How many creatures can you spot that are coming out in springtime? See a little froggy, a turtle friend. Um, this is like a little beetle. There's some ladybugs right there. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. There's a snake right there too. He's like, camouflaged with the, with the grass. 
One day we see a robin. Then soon we see red-winged blackbirds and a bright goldfinch. Those are types of birds. Early in the morning we hear the birds sing. They cheep and warble and sing. It's spring! There's all kinds of birds outside. In the winter, you don't see a lot of birds outside, but now I'm looking outside my own window and I see a lot of birds flying around outside. Did you know that they all have different names that God gave them because they're all different colors and shapes? They have different names, just like you guys. Birds fly here and there with grass in their beaks. We watch them building nests in trees, getting ready for new families. Squirrels line their nest with sticks and leaves. And here in this hole are new baby bunnies. Ducks quack at their ducklings. Geese honk to their gooselings. All soft and fuzzy and out for a swim. So springtime is a good time for lots of animals to have their babies. So that's why you'll see some babies outside maybe. You'll see baby birds or baby squirrels or baby ducks or baby bunnies. So how many animals or creatures do you see in here? I see some baby birds right here. I see the squirrel is going into his nest. There's a goose family and their baby go gooselings. There's some baby ducklings. And way down there in the little burrow is a, is a mama bunny and some baby bunnies. They like to live hiding down in the ground, under the grass. Day by day, I watch flower buds grow and swell. Soon they burst open into bright daffodils. So sunny and cheerful, they make my heart sing. It's spring. They're watching the flowers open up into beautiful colors. Just like the seeds that I gave you all to plant outside, when those grow up touching the sun, they're going to open up and show you what color they are inside and I'm still keeping it a surprise from you. I know what color they're going to be, but I'm going to let you figure it out. It's going to be a cool surprise. And I see a bug hiding right here. It's kind of disguised. It's kind of camouflaged with the grass. Do you, any of you guys know what kind of bug that's called? Rachel, do you know what kind of bug that is? The dog is looking at it. It's, this one is called a praying mantis. And they can get really big. I've seen a huge one outside my house. Ferns uncurl, leaves unfurl, Tree branches that were bare now have tiny green leaves. Do you remember that word bare? Do you remember what that means? It means like empty or the tree has nothing on it. It's time to plant seeds. <gasps> we just planted some seeds, me and you. Corn, cucumbers, beans, and peas, and my very own sunflower seeds. So he's planting food seeds, not flower seeds. Are any of you guys planting any food seeds at your house? The days are getting longer. Now the sun goes down after dinner. Yeah, that's true. That really happened at my house. Outside, we watch the sky turn slowly dark and count the stars as they come out. Then all the spring peepers and bullfrogs sing. It's spring. Do you guys ever hear frogs or bugs like to sing at nighttime? The sun shines longer and the days grow warmer. One day I notice that the trees are all covered with full grown leaves. Soon it will be summer, but right now it's still spring. He noticed that the trees are full of green leaves now. I blow a dandelion seed fluff and watch it float away. Dragonflies dip and dart every which way. I leap in the air. There's new life everywhere. Come out, 
Smell the flowers. Hear the birds sing. It's spring. <laughs> so many things that talk about spring in here. Flowers, dragonflies. He's blowing on a dandelion. I, these, you might call these something different, but those are called a dandelion. Those kinds of flowers that you can, and they blow all away. The end. One of the ideas that I had that I wanted to tell you guys about was if you have a water bottle, like a water bottle that you can throw away and it's already filled with water, the next time you go on your nature walk outside, take that water bottle with you and see if you can find some cool spring things to put inside the water. Okay, Pre-K Joy, so I was telling you about the sensory bottles that I was gonna make. This is gonna be my springtime bottle and you can do this at home too. If you have a water bottle, like the kind that you throw away, or this is a jar that had tea in it that I drink and now I, I just ripped the tag off and now I'm gonna put all this stuff in it. So when I was outside, I found lots of different kinds of leaves. Oh, that one's pretty. It's all different colors like fall. Some small leaves, some big pointy leaves, all different shapes and colors. I found these um, acorn tops, which are really cool. They look like little cones. I found these blossoms on the ground that aren't all the way bloomed yet. And I found some that are all the way open right now. I'm gonna put those inside. A little stick, a rock, and one of these guys, it's like a pokey, spiky ball. I don't know what you guys call them, but I'm sure there's a lot around your neighborhood and like a long, really cool long piece of grass from a, a bush that has really long grass. And I could have gotten some small grass too, but I forgot. So I'm gonna put all of these in the bottle right now and then fill it up with water and I'll show you that at the end. Okay guys, so I'm showing you the finished bottle here. I put all my stuff inside and I put some water. I see that a lot of it likes to float. It's sticking at the top. But I can spin it all around and move it around and see all the different things inside. I see my little blossoms and my big blossoms and my twig, the pokeball. There's an acorn cap. There's the cool little red leaf. And there's another acorn cap and a little leaf. There's the really pretty pink blossom. My leaf and my rock is sinking to the bottom because it's a little bit heavier. So there's the rock at the bottom. And I can just shake this up and look at all my cool spring stuff. And I just wanna challenge you guys to make something like this too. Find some stuff outside on your walk and then put it in a bottle shake it up and you have spring inside those are cool treasures to find in springtime so see what you can find for springtime outside put it in your jar or in your bottle and fill it with water then when you put the lid on you can shake it up and see all the cool springtime things inside your bottle when you get home that would be so cool so I hope you take some of these ideas. I hope you enjoyed this book. I'm gonna be reading some more springtime books later this week, and we're gonna be talking more about spring and giving you more outside ideas, all right? All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.